hundreds of hockey parents are braving this storm for this year's girls high school hockey tournament. Gordon Severson stopped by the XL Energy Center to talk to them about the importance of being there to see their kids play. Of the eight hockey teams that are playing here in the girls high school hockey tournament at the XL Energy Center, only two of them are close to the Twin Cities. The other teams, many of them had to travel several hours to get here today, but parents tell me that they wouldn't miss it for the world. Here we were prepared uh, for the worst. It wasn't the ice inside the XL Energy Center hockey parents were worried about. It was the ice outside. I'm not going to lie, I was a little nervous. Yeah, no! Especially parents from Proctor Hermantown who played the first game of the tournament Wednesday morning and have to play again on Friday. That one might be a little bit dicey depending on how the weather goes. The fans were few but mighty. Due to the storm, several teams had to cancel their fan buses. Hermantown, I think, had three, and I think we had three, two coming from Proctor. We wish that we had more people in the stands. Bob Madison with the high school league says all of the games are carrying on as planned because here at the X, on, they don't have a lot of wiggle room to reschedule. There's wild games on either side uh, of this tournament. The most important thing is the girls got to play. Rob Rader with Mankato East says weather is always an issue come tournament time, but what can you do? Not show up and not cheer on your kid? No, we were coming. <laughs> if we had to leave on Monday or, uh, or even over the weekend, we were going to get here. The team that actually had the furthest drive was Warroad, with some of those parents having to drive nearly six hours to get here to St. Paul. But I'm told a lot of those parents actually came a day early to beat the storm, and many of them are going to stay a day or two longer to make sure it's clear before they go back home. Gordon Severson, Carol 11 News.